Hey guys, Zell so here. Welcome back to some more Trails of Cold Steel 3. Selene, I do not want to talk to you. Please, move. The trial is over. Shall we return to the entrance? Yes, surprisingly enough, again. Even without actually grinding at all. I legitimately didn't just decided against it. No point. I mean, again, with Muse... And Ash being 28. Yeah, still lower level, but at the same time... Whatever the next zone we go into is probably gonna have a big tough enemy we can grind against anyways. Good work, everyone. Huh. Oh, it's you. Uh-huh. It seems like you finished your trial without incident. Elise and Toa, what are you two doing here? And where's Professor Smeet? Oh, he already went back to the research building to compile his data. I'm here for what you promised me, Vane. You haven't forgotten, have you? Oh, of course not. I told you we'd have lunch together, and that's what we'll do. Well, it's already lunchtime. It's easy to lose track of time down there. Uh-huh, sorry for the trial. It's so hard this time. Hard? I think that was the easiest trial I've ever actually had. Now that you think of it, my stomach feels empty. Something smells heavenly. At least did you perhaps? Yes, in fact, I had Toa and Tita help me prepare some box lunches. Uh huh. How about we all have a picnic together, everyone? Let's do that. Oh, is Elise gonna be sitting next to me? This is amazing! Agreed, it's so colorful. It's quite pleasing to the eye. It's all just so tasty. It's, it's like my stress is being blown away. Uh huh, I'm glad you enjoy it so much. The three of us worked really hard making them. I only helped at the pep work in the morning. Oh, we made one for the professor too. What should we do about this? His. We can just get it to him later. I'm sure he'll eat it between his experiments. Oh, oh man. This fried chicken's so crispy and on the outside and nice and juicy on the inside. It's incredible. The omelette is pretty, really pretty too, and I've got this unique flavor I can't quite place. We use some soup stock to flavor it. The recipe for it is from the east. I got it from a friend of our family. If you'd like, I can teach it to you. I'm always up for expanding my cooking arsenal. High level girl, conversation detected. Hmm, we'd best not fall behind. Someday I shall create a beautiful lunch brimming with love for Instructor Reen. Oh boy. Reen, um, do you not like it perhaps? Oh no, it's amazing. It just made me feel a little nostalgic. Like I was back home with mom and dad for a moment. Oh. Uh-huh, well, of course. I use words of family seasoning after all. Please eat to your hearts and stomachs content. Well, if you say so, how can I refuse? They're totally in their own little world. Hmm. It seems to these will be the biggest obstacle I must overcome. <laughs> Mm hmm. This fish isn't too bad either. You were looking at me like that in the key, too. We got something in the safe. Spit out already. No. Watching you and Instructor Reen earlier made me feel uneasy. I'm not getting that feeling anymore. You mean. I guess he really has changed, at least a little. It's nice that I don't have to worry so much about him losing control of his power, but he still takes on more work than he should. So he'll probably need as much help as you and the others can give him. Ah, huh. understood. Well, not bad. The taste of a homemade meal. 
I suppose it's been a while. Heh, <laughs> what's the matter? You miss your mama's cooking. Family's in Heimdall right? Why don't not just vi visit whenever you want? Being on my own is another kind of training. I can't keep relying on them all the time. Surely you too missed the taste of home after being away for three months. Yeah, I guess. My mom's cooking was kind of crappy, but I guess I miss not having it. Oh. <laughs> anyway, this ain't gonna be enough to fill me up. Well, look what I found. Some extra sandwiches. No, you don't. Jeez, I can't let my guard down around you for a second. <laughs> we have plenty of extra, so please eat as much as you like. Nice. Let me add them. Save some for the rest of us. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, that uneasy feeling that Eltina got. Was it jealousy? Was it uneasiness? Could be both. Afterwards, they cleaned up their picnic and each of them went their own way. But paying a visit to Professor Schmidt, Reen walked George to the station where his train back to Ruru was waiting. Take care, George. Sorry I couldn't keep you a better reception. <laughs> Nonsense. Well, not only did you treat me to lunch, I got to meet the members of the new Class 7. I'll let you know if I can dig up anything about the Black Workshop. I mentioned it to the Professor, too, so he might have some info for you eventually. Thanks a million. That man reverse engineered the Divine Knights to make the Panda Soldat. There's no way he doesn't have some connection to the Workshop. But even if he does know something, there's no guarantee he'll tell us. Yeah, it's kind of worrying. The professor is side, you've got a rough road ahead of you, but I know you'll be able to overcome everything that comes your way, Reen. That we will. You too, of course, Toa. Uh-huh, right. So why does George get voice acting, but no one else does it when he's g going away? Dang it. So will you be doing the Institute of Technology as soon as you get back to ruin? Yeah, but that's not all I'll be doing. I plan to reach out to our classmates from Thor's. Well, except Angie, anyway. She's doing the content on her motorcycle now, isn't she? She sure likes to live on the wild side. That she does. I'm sure Angie will be back before we know it. But once she's around again, the three of us should get together. For sure. Well, I gotta get going now. I'll see you next time, Elise. You too, Celine. Oh, yes, yeah, certainly. Make sure you don't eat too many sweets. <laughs> I'll see <laughs> what I can do. All right, later, guys. Later. Again, I really would like to his voice acting there, but sure, why not? Game, not the game totally loves that being selective with the voices. I still have yet to actually try the Japanese to see if it's any different. I doubt it is. I miss him already. He's still in the other phone, yes. I'm sure we'll have plenty of chances to see him again. Until then, let's work just as hard as he is. Yeah, can do. At least, Lee, you two can take this afternoon to relax. Uh -huh, I believe I will. You two need to and attend that briefing or whatever it was, right? I'll try not to fall asleep. I'll try. Valimar, Schmidt. There's the lunch. Hamilton was too busy and declined? Hmm, I wonder what he's up to. Is it a case of one of his, you know, students joining the dark side? As you can see, from the handout, the next location for our field exercises will be Western Lamar. The nearest city with the port city, Ortiz. That said, we will be farther from a civilization this time than prior exercises. In addition, our designated area this time will extend as far as Rockwell. Okay, now this might actually be where we were at the very beginning when they gave us a little bit of a teaser as to what's to come. 
This might actually finally be it, since everyone's together. I see. From what from Akil to Wadiza, I'm no stranger to either of those places. It's going to be a really wide range this time. Oh, uh -huh, and we'll be near my former palace. Your palace? Oh, you mean. Juno N Naval Fortress, right. That was the Noble Alliance's headquarters during the Civil War, right? That's correct. When the war ended, I found myself there with Wallace and 50,000 soldiers. I considered making less than there, but the news of the Northern War reached me. I did some negotiating, and that's how I became a lapdog of the government. That's really something you should blurt out like that. Ugh. <laughs> Principal Aguirre, you may wish to keep your commentary to yourself. You may all may already be aware, but there is a reason this was decided upon as a location. All of the highest ranking nobles will be gathered there for a conference. The Imperial Provincial Council, right? I heard it was going to be held in Ordeus this year. Will you be attending too, Principal Le Up to two years ago, I had regularly attended the conference as the Countess Le Guin. However, I've since pulled away from the political front line, so I don't plan to attend this year. You and the students will have to bring honor to our school without admire the professor's help. Starting from last time, I suspect we'll have another incident. Oh, we will. Seems like the site here will make another move. Hard to say if they'll just be running another of their experiments or what. Either way, we should be even more prepared than usual, especially with the gnomes in the picture too. Looks like it's not just our students who have gotten all fired up. We've all got a good mindset that should help us get a leg up on the main campus. Really? Get a leg up? Principal of Gwyn, that's... Oh, have you not heard? The main campus will be holding its own field exercises starting this month. For what? Not just a branch campus. The Crown Prince has decreed that the main campus shall also assist with the Empire's crisis. Though they'll be in different locations from us, they will depart on the same day. I see, but where could they possibly be headed? They're much bigger than us, are they going to use a special train to get there too? One word from the prince's mouth and bam, that's a tyrannical empire for you. First, this is confidential information. Second, we are getting off track. Again, we will hold our field exercises in Lamar. We will depart Friday night and the duration will be four days. I expect each of you to have the planning documents to memorize by tomorrow. Jeez. Okay then. So we're going to Lamad. Kind of swore we were, we were told about this type of stuff, you know, after the Panther sold that training. I mean, it's been a while. So I wonder who's gonna be in the bath this time. I mean, Elise is only staying for one more day, so. Well, technically she's leaving tomorrow, so. It would make sense that she'd be the one in there. What do you saw? I saw this coming on account of the conference being held there. But now that I know for sure, I should get in contact with Eusis. You should have been in attendance at last year's conference, too. I should head back to the dorms now, though Elise is waiting. I think I remember overhearing Principal Le Guin saying something earlier. I wonder if she needs help. Uh-huh. I see bonding points. He got a message on his Arcus, too. Ooh, or mail from V. You know this shop? Hey, V. Things going okay since Sutherland. I'm going to the eastern part of the Empire on a request from the guild. Long distance on a train gets kind of boring, though. So have you heard of a shop called Nine Folly? There's supposed to be one in Leaves, and I want to check it out. It'd be nice if you could show me where it is. Going all the way out to East, I didn't know her work as a bracer took her all over. Nine Valley is definitely an interesting shop. Could it be that well known? Ah, oh, but they've always been good to us. It's easy enough for me to take her there. Wait, I have two points now? Didn't the last time we only get one? I'm, eh, probably not as well. Yeah, I, I'm already forgetting things. Hey, Hold on, before I actually hang out with you... I can fit, hang out with Altina, Ash, Toa. Eh, well, we already know who my two favorites are, so. B, let's do it. 
Simply nice to see your face. Time's flown by, huh? You look well fee. So you know that shop me you messaged me about, there actually is one in Leaves. I know the owner pretty well, so if you got time, I could bring you there. Yeah, I, I don't want to pass that up. I'm free with that enough now, so I'll get off and leave. Sound okay? Of course it does. Let's meet at the station. Hell yeah. We then walked to the station and waited for Fee to arrive. Hey, sorry for the wait. Uh -huh, no problem. Good to see you, Fee. Thanks for coming all this way. Well, I'll be off again soon as I'm done with my business. <laughs> There's Kurt just sitting on the bench. Um, first I've been here. It's kind of nice. So where's Diane Valley? It's in the back alley over there. I'll show you. Wait, it's her- oh, yeah, it's her shop. Okay. Hey, so you selfie. My mama told me about you. I don't know what she told you, but I guess she must have known the boss. Nice meeting you. If you're even ever nearby, feel free to pop in. I personally recommend them silence explosive ammo. We just got some wide range grenades in too. Nice, I'll get those and some of those custom parts over there. Uh -huh, it's like you guys are already old friends. But Fee, do you even need to, those kinds of things for your place to work? Well, my Yager skills come in handy sometimes. Especially for Johnson to take me east, which is where I'm headed. Huh. To the east, huh? I get a lot of reports by Yeager's that way. You going that way to check the place out? Something like that. I need to be well prepared. Fee! After shopping at Nine Valley, Fee had I had some time before she had to leave. So we gave her a tour of the branch campus. We go into the roof. Nope. At least not yet. So this is Doris Branch Campus. It feels a bit different from the main campus, but still nostalgic. Wish I'd have come sooner that I'd be able to spend more time here. Ah, uh, that's always next time. There's always. All right then, let me give you a quick tour of the place. Mm, sounds good. Her favorite's gonna be the garden. You know, since she always worked with flowers before. Oh, a flower bed. It looks like it's well taken care of, despite the lack of staff. Yeah, the students mostly take care of it, but Celestine's been helping too. Unfortunately, we don't have anything like the gardening club you were part of, though. I think that's fine. The plants look well taken care of. Gardening club, huh? Kinda takes me back. Hey, V, need to look a bit dry now. Can I water them? Yeah, of course. Go I'll go get the watering pot. Man, now I really feel like we're back in our days at the main campus. You watering the flowers in the flower bed and me helping out sometimes. Yeah, now all we're missing is Adele and Vivi. Vivi. Okay, they look a little happier now. Thanks, Faye. By the way, those swing gun parts earlier. You're going to use them for your job that takes you out to East right. Seems like it's a job to survey the reports of Yeager's in the area. What do you think? From the info I've got, it seems the chances are slim. I don't think the boss would let anyone get his trail that easily. Oh, really? Then why? Well, if there's even a 1% chance, I gotta take it. One of the reasons I turned up the braces was so I could find everyone in Zephyr. I see. Hey, Fee, we're going to tell you this now, since I have the opportunity. Don't push yourself too hard, okay? Uh-huh, typical vein. I'm okay, I'm not pushing myself, nor do I feel like I'm in a rush. It's true that when I found out the bonds were still alive in Sutherland, I felt a sharp sensation deep in my chest. But the reason you joined the Pacers was... One of the reasons I joined the Pacers. I think I get the significance behind the Pacers emblem now. I don't want to do anything to shame Sarah or Toval, who helped me take the Pacer test for any of you in Class 7, who gave me the opportunity. So don't worry, Veen, I'm fine. V. There's the hat, Pat. You're right. Sometimes I forget you're 17 now. Now that you're a full-fledged bracer, I should probably stop treating you like a little kid. Doesn't seem like your actions match your words. <laughs> oh, sorry. Hmm. 
That feels nice. Hey, how about you boys? It's been a while, so it kind of makes me feel happy. I like how this one little part's voiced. Aha, I think I get it. I'm sure it's uneasy for working for the Pacer Guild, but just keep taking it one day at a time. Me and everyone else are all rooting for yeah. you. Yeah. After a short tour of the campus, they return to the station. Bye, Fee. I'll miss you. <laughs> We'll eventually see each other again. Rain reluctantly said goodbye to her as she boarded the train to Heimdall. The bond with Fee strengthened. Hell yeah, bond four. Almost maxed out with Fee. Now, what else do we have? I have the green marker in the tavern and in the main quest over at the branch campus storm to go to bed. We still have to hang out with Altina. I have to check every single freaking store. Oh boy. Hello, Tita. Oh, I want to get something nicer, but. Tita, wh why do you seem so distraught? Oh, Instructor Bean, hello. I'm trying to choose gifts to send to my friends back home, but it seems like lately I've just been sending them popular things without putting much thought into it. Oh, a gift, huh? I can relate. I've been sending more things recently, too. It's hard to find fresh new things that will make them happy. Yes, that's exactly right. The more you know someone, the harder it is to choose something for them. Instructor Reen, will you help me choose some gifts? I think it'd be good to get a fresh perspective. For me. Sure, why not? I'm not so sure about this, but if you really want me to... Uh, yay. Thank you. So do you have any candidates? Um, well, I've chosen a story for each person. I forgot to mention, but I'm buying gifts for three people. Okay, no problem. Alright, then we should go to the stores. Right, thanks again. Can we start with the nearest we are? Of course, let's get going. Hey, this quest is gonna cut off three stores I need to go to. Of course, t you know, quick travel is temporarily unavailable. Hey, Tita's following us around. Cool. So, can I get anything from here? Nope, oh, still the same stuff. Okay. Let's go, Tita. Your sweet on should be to our left. Hmm, now that I have a look around here, they have a lot of things. What kind of person are you getting these gifts for? And it's for a girl who's a year younger than me. She has purple hair and always wears a ribbon. She can be a little aloof at times, but she also likes to tease people. She almost sounds like a bit like Muse. Uh -huh, they might look and act diff completely different, but now that you mention it, they are sort of similar in a way. Maybe that's why you got, got along so well with Muse then. My friend loves cute things, so I usually go to boutiques to get a gift for her. Since she's 15 now, I thought it might be good to get her something more mature. That's why I decided to come here. I'd love to hear any recommendations you have. Sure thing, let me think. Go to the counter and select choose gift to choose a gift. You mean go to the counter, save the game, and then choose a gift and if it's the wrong gift, reload. Um, choose gift. Hmm, do you need something? Yes, I'm looking for a gift today. Injector me, did you find anything? Let's see. A gift for a girl who's one year younger. And she's sort of like music. Uh, Eastern Tea would be mature. Kage Maru doll. Eastern Sweets. Sweets is for a kid. This would be even younger. Eastern tea, right? Because if she's a bit like Muse and it's a bit more mature, Eastern tea. How about some Eastern tea? Eastern tea, that's a great idea. She likes black tea, so I'm sure she'll love this. I'm glad to hear that. Can I get one of these? Ah, <laughs> absolutely. Alright, let's head to Carnegie Books and Games next. Got it, let's get going. Well, uh, we'll get going, alright? Once I talk to you... You have nothing else for sale. 
Nothing at all, even in the fishing department. Okay. That was just lucky guess, seeing as how again she was like Muse, so. Why not? Carnegie? This place not only sells the books, but toys too. What kind of person are you getting a gift for next? Let's see, she's in her early 20s, and she's pretty athletic, not to mention super energetic. She's really good with the staff, and her hobbies are fishing and collecting sneakers. Sounds like she's pretty active. A woman from Liverpool who fights with the staff. It couldn't be her, could it? And check the ween. Oh, sorry. I think I've got a pretty good idea of what you have in mind, Tina. If this person's so active, you think getting her a book might be a good change of pace. That's exactly right. Um, a girl who is in her mid-twenties and uses a staff. And fishes. It can't be her, can it? I don't know. She's a gift. Are you looking for something? Yes, I'm looking for a gift today. Check the did you find anything nice? Let's see. A woman in her 20s who's athletic and energetic. Mobile car encyclopedia. Scenery of Erebonia. Vantage Master's deck. Ahem. Energetic. Energetic and athletic. Wouldn't it be scenery of Erebonia? Vantage Masters, uh, no, cars. How about scenery of Erebonia? There's lots of pictures of lakes and flowers, so it might be a good match, considering her hobbies. Wait, she likes going for walks, so I think it's perfect. And she has been trying to visit the Empire. Hmm. Anyway, I think it's the perfect gift for her. Aha, uh -huh, glad to hear it. Can I have one of these? Of course, thanks for the shopping with us. Okay, now that's done, we can head to La Pine Boutique. This should be the last one. Sure thing. Okay, since we're already here, Tina, move a little bit. Nope. Absolutely nothing. Alright. I mean, hey, at least we're knocking out the shops that we have to go to. But potentially Vantage Masters. <laughs> This store is really stylish. Oh, hello. Oh, Elites is here with the Union and the others. Might be smart to get their take on this, too. Sure, that sounds like a good idea. Anyway, my last gift is for a man in his 20s. Of course it is. Oh, and I don't mean our gift. This present's a lot more calm and composed. Okay, okay, then. I see. The same age as the woman from earlier, I wonder if. All right, I'll look around. Fight with the normal staff. Exercise. Is it her? The one that we, that we played with a little bit at the end of the second game? Oh, I mean, she's from Liberal, not Crossbell. But I guess it doesn't really matter. She could still have been in the game. So we can get their takes on this, so why not? Eh, <laughs> no elegant young maiden can resist the call of beautiful ace. Wow, these look so pretty, pretty fancy. Elegant young maiden, huh? My, these are elaborate. From a price and design perspective, I think I prefer more simple clothing, though. And what are they talking about? about? Looks like everyone's helping at least with their shopping. Um, excuse us. Me and Tina, you two are shopping together. Interesting. Don't tell me. Are you two? Nope. Um, is Jack Dwayne's helping me choose a gift? A gift? Oh, I, for our gift? No, it's not like that. I want to buy something for a friend. He's helped me out a lot over the years. I uh, now I understand. <laughs> Do you know who she's talking about? I've heard a few stories here and there. Well, that should make things easy. Would you girls mind giving us some advice on what we should buy? We need something for a calm and composed man in his 20s. 
If it's the one I'm thinking of, he's more like Kurt than he is in Chuck Dereen. Also, I hear this man has a lover, yes. Someone as bright as the sun who always brings happiness to everyone around her. Uh, that's right. This young woman I was talking about earlier. Is that so? They sound like quite the couple. No kidding. In fact, I think they might be the perfect couple. Yes, I admit, I'm a little curious to meet them now. In any event, Reed, you should keep that in mind when choosing to get. Good point. Thank you, everyone. That was really helpful. Eh, not really. I still have absolutely no clue at all about what the heck we are supposed to get. <laughs> but again, it doesn't really matter because I'm going to save the game. A calm and composed 20-year-old man. Who has a lover? Hello, feel free to look around. Thank you very much. So to me, does anything stand out to you? Hmm. A man in his 20s. He's a bit like Kurt and he's in a relationship. <laughs> a simple belt, a silver necklace, an elegant driving hat, a colorful cap, a stylish knit hat. Oh, Jesus Christ. So, a calm man who's in his 20s. He's a bit like Kurt. Kurt is more into training. I don't know why he would want a driving hat. Kurt doesn't drive. Kurt doesn't wear hats. So I guess a silver necklace? How about this? A silver necklace? Oh wow, it looks really cool. A necklace won't get the wrong impression, right? I mean, it's not like it's a ring or anything. I'm sure it'll be fine. It'll look good on here. Oh, this is the wrong choice. Uh -huh, glad to hear it. It might be something better, but if she's okay with it. Yep. A belt, I guess? Maybe? Possibly? Alright, I'm skipping. I'm not. I. No. Yeah, see, I got 1 AP. I mean, uh, it was kind of obvious I was gonna get 1 AP. Uh, what the hell am I supposed to get? Don't talk to Tita. Again, I don't. Kurt doesn't wear hats, man. I mean, if Kurt doesn't wear a hat, then it technically doesn't mean this guy wouldn't. A man in his 20s is a bit like Kurt, and he's in a relationship. A belt to keep his pants on? <laughs> Stylish knit hat. It's gonna be a knit hat. Uh, simple belt. How about the simple belt? Oh, it's simply, it's stylish. The belt won't get the wrong impression, right? Really? How would a belt give the wrong impression? It's essentially you just telling him to keep his pants on. <laughs> Dang it. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going until I get down to the last one, aren't I? I guess I know nothing about Kurt. I wonder why. Okay, let's go. Round three. It wasn't a necklace, it wasn't a belt. Driving hat makes no sense, colorful cat makes no sense, so a stylish knit hat. How about this knit hat? It's pretty stylish. Oh, a hat? Yeah, a hat can go with anyone's wardrobe. It should be a good gift that can't give any wrong impressions. You really put a lot of thought into this. I think if I eat something like that, won't make her jealous. Why would it... How exactly would getting a gift from... A 16? 15? Year old girl? Make a 20-year-old woman jealous? I mean, come on. Unless she's, you know, just really, you know, insecure. I don't think she'd be jealous. Would she? <laughs> also, I think this hat would really look great on him. Okay, so yeah, it was a freaking hat, right? Nice, glad to hear it. Can I have one of these? Yes, thank you. It's easy, chosen a wonderful gift. Looks like it. I'm happy I was able to help. 
Uh-huh, indeed. You know? <laughs> you know? <laughs> the fact that you chose the wrong gift, obviously, after talking to them, yeah. That instantly tells you, if you didn't catch what, with what Reen and Tita said, that you got it wrong, I, and you didn't notice the fact that you only got one AP, the fact that they didn't say anything should have, uh, you know, tipped you off. Reen thanks the girls for advice and left the store. Um, thank you for today. Every item was wonderful, interesting, and perfectly suited to each person. I wouldn't have gone half this well if I had to do it alone. Today's success is all thanks to you, Instructor Reen. Uh, happy to hear it. So, I'm um, please take this as a token of gratitude. Ooh, invigorate. Of course. Did you synthesize the this? Yes, I chose one. I thought it suited your best, Instructor Reen. I appreciate it. Thanks. Oh, I nearly forgot. I was going to go to the bookstore to buy a card for each of the presents. Well, then, you better go take care of that now. But take care not to get too flustered and trip on the way there. Uh -huh, I'll be careful. I'll be off then. See you later. Two AP. Thank you. Oh boy. That was kind of annoying. Necklace, sure. A belt? How the hell is a belt considered, you know, an item that would make a woman jealous? How? It's just a belt. There ain't nothing, you know, erotic about a belt. Unless you can... S Unless it's when it's taken off that it becomes that way? Question mark? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I see, so he was your first love. With your unwavering feelings for him, you finally got him. Oh, look at you. Stop it. It's not like that. He's been away from work, so I haven't been able to see him. Huh? Can you say that again? No. <laughs> well, orange juice, apple juice. Nope. She sells nothing, but here's... I knew I, th I thought I saw Celine. So someone at the cafe treat you s to some milk, Celine. Oh uh, yeah, that should be obvious. There are so many kind people here. It's so nice, really. Where to hear that coming from you? Remember, today is Elise's welcome party, so try not to s to save some room in your stomach. Hump, like you had to tell me that. <laughs> All right. Well, 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 look who's decided to pick up Vantage Masters. Hey, Randy, what are you looking up? Oh, just a little something. That Abonius Old Network is a lot more data than the one we have in Crossbell. Jeez, I can't even find a pick of one swimsuit babe on here. How can you see that with a straight face? Uh, kidding, I'm kidding. I'm just trying to call Tiota. Though since we're under surveillance, we can't really talk about anything important. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Ah, oh, don't worry, not your fault. Oh yeah, you play Vintage Masters right. You play too, Vandy. Yeah, I go, go to Carnegie all the time, actually. I'm basically a regular at this point. Let's go around or two when you've got the time. Haha, <laughs> sure, I'll let you know. You can now play Vintage Masters against Vandy. Hell yeah. Let's do this, Vandy. Ha, huh, sounds good, I'll take you on. Alright, Hajime. He's also the knight with 30 HP. Let's God get started. It. I'm gone. Yep, he's going first. Damn. Nation restores 2 HP to the target. If he kills, and act twice. Ooh, blaze. And a buff in the back line. All right. Wait, why didn't you attack me? You had a full choice to attack me and deal four damage straight out the gate. 
I think that might be the dumbest decision I've seen anyone actually do in this game. Move. Attack. All right, send out Blix because I can. Which then Blaze, put, in, put on Blix, we get six damage. Along with our two, so that'd be eight next turn. Let's see. No. I want to accidentally flip it now. Hey, all right. Can we attack? Let's give this to me right here. Now we got nine damage. Put you down. Let's also put you down. Attack you. Flicks. There we go. 18 health. He only has two more than me right now. And another one on the bottom. All right. I'm getting lucky. You can keep getting your Amada all you want. It's not going to help you. Four. Five. And just in case, why not? Flicks. Come on, attack him. And in turn. Come on, Randy. Oh, he's got the big one now. All right, Blix, attack. Too bad for you that most of my units are in. Ah, oh, man, I lost. Un virve. Un. Un vival. Un vival? Vival? I don't know. Either way, that's the one Vantage Masters that we have for right now. I mean, there could possibly be another one. I'm gonna go looking around for obviously other sides things we could do before we actually go back to the dorm. Well, 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 Altina's doing some art of the flowers, all right. Yeah, that's all it's like, is the coloring. Oh, are you painting for the, is this for art class? The principal is saying this in order to lay the task. You said the theme could be anything, yet she will not give me a passing grade, no matter how many I submit. I mean, made the last one, the class has not yet completed the task. Oh, is it really that difficult of an assignment? When I think of my next impending failure, my heart feels heavy. But today is the final deadline for the task, so I must keep painting. A painting assignment? It seems like she's having a tough time. Hell yeah. Altina, is it okay if I take a look at your painting when you're done? I might be able to give you some advice before you turn it into the principal. Understood. Please assist me. All I've to do is color it, so please wait just a little longer. Lean watched closely as he waited for Altina to complete her painting. Complete. What do you think? I have accurately represented the subject matter. This is. There's no doubt it's well made, but look at it, I don't feel any passion from it. Passion. One of the members of the old class seven, Gaius, was in the art club. He showed me his painting from time to time. Every one of his paintings gave me the impression he had this deep passion for the painting, su the subjects that he did. That's why he was able to create that uh, art that moved the hearts of everyone he saw it. Who saw it? I don't have much of an eye for art myself, but I'm guessing that's the reason the principal refuses to give me a passing grade. Passion for painting. If so, then this task is unsuited for a homunculus such as myself. Or perhaps not familiar. Altina! It's fine. Emotion is not something that comes pre installed in all series units. Millium is the irregular among us. It's not unusual for a normal human to have things they don't excel at. So me not getting credit for art class is. 
Altina. Hmm. I don't think you have don't have emotions. After all, you're feeling jealous of Millian right now, aren't you? It isn't. And since you've got emotions, you have everything you need for this assignment. There's no need to think too hard about it. You need to draw all you need to do is draw something you want to draw. I bet if she draws Reen, she'll definitely put in a lot of, you know, heartfelt emotions into it. What's something you feel you want to draw from the bottom of your heart? What I want to draw. Yep. Huh. Did he want to draw me? That was the immediate answer I reached to that question. It is it not okay to do so? Uh -huh, of course it is. But if you're going to paint me, be sure to make me look cool. Understood, I would do my best. I knew it. It's a mean model for Altina's painting. As she painted, her brush moved several times faster than it did when she was painting the flower. As she had finished, she went straight to Aurelia to submit her painting. Man, that looks good. For me, pass. Huh? Really? But of course, I could tell at a glance. This drawing is leagues ahead of any of the ones you've submitted prior. Your submission was a little late, but I'll let it slide this time. You've gone a lot to Orion. Thank you. You're a bit overprotective, wouldn't you say? Uh, so sorry. <laughs> well, that was surprisingly easy. It was almost anticlimactic. Well, the picture was just that good. Nice job, Altina. Yeah, you as well, Insectarine. Thank you very much for your help. You're welcome. See? She didn't have any heartfelt emotions in what she was drawing for the flowers. Well, painting for the flowers. Reen, on the other hand, she really likes Reen. She doesn't want anything bad to happen to Reen. When he's in pain, she also doesn't like it. So obviously, drawing him, painting him was the right decision. Are you kidding me? Why am I so close to four, but not exactly four? Well, whatever, I've been everywhere, I've done everything. Um, I literally cannot do anything else. It's getting late, should I head back to the dorms now? The giants in dorms will call the story to advance. Star, return to the dorms. I've done everything. Are you heading in a very vein? <laughs> Kurt's the pack mule. <laughs> yeah, I managed to get all of my errands done. I guess you guys went shopping, huh? That's quite the mountain of food. Yes, it's all for dinner tonight. I've been thinking that I can't keep imposing on the Countess's hospitality. Besides, we've all been working so hard in class we wanted to show off our skills a little. Well, we've basically just been making whatever we want at cooking club. Well, it's good to see you all so eager. I'm pretty sure Celestine already has it and handled. I guess you're in charge of looking for everything back, huh, Kurt? Yes, well. We came across Ash, but he managed to worm his way out of helping. <laughs> yeah, so it seems. Oh, hello everyone. It's good to see you all. We're ready to start cooking club anytime. Aha! Uh -huh. I'm gonna go wild with these ingredients. Toss them in. <laughs> I'll go too wild now. You and any other members of the cooking club proceeded to go all out, resulting in far more dishes than originally planned. Aurelius' party for at least ended up filled with food that was on par with that served in or Orcus Tower, no less expensive. Man, that's a lot of food. Holy crap. And this Muse just looking at Reen with the hearts coming out. <laughs> what, no bow to the kids?
<laughs> oh boy, what the heck are they talking about? I want to handle this vast amount of food, mountain of food, friends and neighbors were invited to. All in all, it turned out to be quite a lively night in leaves. I bet it was. Uh, looking at all that food is kind of making me hungry. You know, I literally just ate not that long ago. So sad, man. What's even more sad is that Elise is gonna be. Oh? Hey! It's oh, a girl's wow. time right here. I didn't expect to find such an authentic bathhouse all the way out here. What a pleasant surprise. Now that I think about it, it's probably the principal's doing. I heard this place was changed a lot when they renovated it into a dormitory. Apparently, it was once the mansion of a fallen noble family. Ah oh yes, I've heard that same story. It seems the family had to let go of their holdings ten years ago after the head of the family was conned by an unscrupulous merchant. Though I heard they've since started up their own business outside the country. I see. Sheesh. How do you know all this stuff? Hmm, I feel like I've heard a story like that before. Oh, come on. You just had voice acting, really? I thought everyone would be reluctant to go in a public bath like this, but you're all fine with it. Hmm, is something wrong? Most people aren't too really used to this kind of thing, right? I guess you're fine with it, Ali. But I thought the least and you would be embarrassed for sure. I've actually been going to hot springs all my life. There's a hot springs resort near my hometown. My hometown is pretty actually famous for its hot springs. But seriously, I'm surprised about the other two, but this is the first I've heard about Elise growing up with hot springs. The Northern Hot Springs Paradise Emir and took the Reen's hometown. I think I remember seeing hot springs when I went there once on a mission. <laughs> I remember that mission. A mission? What mission? Uh, does that mean the one who can have the lease is? Yep. Pardon me, I think I'm getting lightheaded from other scene. <laughs> uh -huh. But this means Elise and Reen used to be together when they were young as the Tita and Agit, no doubt. Huh? Together? Well, we are siblings, so a few times when we were young, sure. Uh -huh, I can- oh, I can just picture you boldly striding into the hot springs to comfort your dear brother in his time of need. And I can see you sweet little Tina finding an excuse to follow her special summer into a mixed bath. Herself? Oh, how adorable. And no, that. Oh. <laughs> you never cease to amaze me, is hey? That's a pity about an imagination you got there. You should be ashamed of yourself. I'm so jealous. All of you have such nice hair. Elise's luscious black hair. Tina's shining honey blonde hair, and it should be illegal how pretty that silver hair is of yours is Ally. Your hair has such nice fluffy curls, too. <laughs> Your hair is lovely as well, Yuna. You looked really different when you were washing it earlier. Yeah, it was so vibrant and feminine. Now they think of it. You're always taking care of it. Unlike all of you with your flawless hair and skin, I need to put serious work in to look like this. Oh yes, I think I know it. Now may be the perfect time for some serious girl time. Oh boy. Who's your crush? Come on, tell us. Who do you like? Obviously, I mean Muse jokes about it, but she probably does like Reen to some extent. Elise likes Reen. Tina likes Agit. Yuna is kind of starting to like Reen, kind of, maybe, in a Sundere kind of way. Altina likes Reen. So, majority rules, Reen. Huh? Girl talk. That's right, for our first order of business, let's discuss and instruct the Reen's type. Okay, we're talking about Reen's type. For example, out of all of us here, who would he pick? But why would he we talk about that? An interesting topic. Um, uh, I... <laughs> oh, there's a need to overthink things, Tita. So, Elise, how about it? Would his favorite be his dear little sister? <laughs> Yuna's interested in it now. But don't... Um... 
To be perfectly honest, I don't think he actually has a type. He seems close with a number of very different people. Alisa, Loy, Emma, Fee, Milliam, and Shrek to Sarah. Yeah, 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 all women, yes. Orin Toy, the princess, Musa Claire, and Sharon as well. Wow, that's so many. He's a... Uh, I believe the correct term is playboy. I mean, I was gonna say it, but... <laughs> sure thing, Aldina. You say it before me. But listen to this. According to the princess, he's had some hot and heavy moments with his male acquaintances as well. Do not be bringing BL into this. Do not bring BL into Reen's life. <laughs> It was funny in the uh, original games when, you know, the one girl was obsessed with BL and Emma would help her. <laughs> but, come on, man. She's already, you know, renowned writer now for BL. One of our students here likes it. Just please don't. What? You say please don't bring Saint Australia's bad habit here. <laughs> <laughs> There's just something about Instructorine that you can't just leave be. I suppose you can say that about Curtain Ash, too. Is that so? Hey, don't read too much into it. It's interesting. I never really thought about boys and girls before I started here at the branch campus. But they are pretty different. Oh? Martina. I see. You've really grown these past few months, Ali. Well, not physically, but you know what I mean. Leave me alone, I'm fine with my current size. Though if I were a little bigger, I wouldn't mind it. Uh huh, you're just too cute, Ali. Ex excessive contact. Uh huh. <laughs> Hope you don't mind if we come in. Here comes Toa! You know, one of the girls that was mentioned about Veen's type. Oh, Instructor Toa! Okay, so now they have voices again, thanks. Will you be joining us? Aurelia as well, my. Not just her. I'll be joining you ladies as well. Oh my. Is it my birthday or something? Dang. Whoa. An overwhelming presence. <laughs> ah, it's funny because of, uh, you know, Altina not just meaning Aurelia herself, but, you know, the, the plot of Aurelia... It's so, you know, out and about massive that, you know, that's why she said that. Oh, I'm so sorry we've been hogging the bath. Oh, not at all. I figured now would be a perfect chance to get to know my students better. Yeah, naked. All right. We'll try not to rain on your parade. <laughs> oh, there's nothing like a nice soak in the bath after a long day. All I really want them to do is go back to talking about Reen and see what Aurelia and Toa has to say. Seems like you girls were having quite the discussion in here. Oh, she's gonna bring it back herself? You all trying to get with Schwarzer. <laughs> you all trying to get with Schwarzer? I mean, you're not wrong. Tita technically is Zogget, so Tita's out. Everyone else, it's free real estate. Pretty Get much. With? Yes, that's the plan. <laughs> Music. That wasn't quite what we were talking about. Well then, let me give you all some advice. He may seem polite and friendly, but he can actually be pretty single-minded and at times outright stubborn. With that in mind, the best way to get your hooks in him is to set up just the right mood and lure him somewhere where you have the advantage. Why are you giving your students t tips to try to lure out Reen? <laughs> he already has Elisa, man. R really? Even Toa's surprised, like, really? Wait, what? Toa, Toa you should know Reen the best. You, you've known him longer. Interesting. Huh. For stubborn men, you need to set the right mood. And you just said that out loud, so everyone knows that you're going to try this with Augen as well. <laughs> Be 
sure to take thorough notes, Elise. Musei, please! <sighs> Principal! I'm surprised she didn't try to stop her after she said, Get with Schwarzer. Hey, Aubin time? I would have liked it if they continued that a bit longer. Well, look at you so diligent. The location for our field exercise has been picked, and we've got pants to sell that training tomorrow. There's still a ton of things. I need to get ready. Why don't you head into the bath with Elise and the others? Huh, I left them a while ago. Listening to them in there, I felt like my head was about to pop. Oh, I nearly forgot. The radio, what are you planning on listening? Vita Clotilde, up in time. The this is, why in the world are you listening to Vita's show? Well, because I'm a fan. That and I feel like there's some reason she started her show back up. Hump, I'm sure she doesn't have a reason past simple boredom. Good evening, everyone. It's time for Aubin time. I see she hasn't been caught it's yet. It's 9 p.m. on June 11th, and you're listening to Radio Trista. How's this fine Sunday night treating you all out there? We're halfway through June, which means we're already halfway through the year. It's been a packed year, yet it's gone by in a flash. Speaking of June, it's that time again. That's right, the summer festival is upon us once more. It may be held a month later in Heimdall, but cities all over Erebonia are already having their own celebrations, each with their own unique customs. One of my personal favorite places to go for the summer festival is La Mer. Okay, Boris La Mer. Is famous for their annual tradition of lighting candles and setting them to float in the bay. It's just breathtaking to see all those lights. Last year's lighting had to be cancelled, unfortunately, but I'm sure plenty of people are looking forward to it this year. I know I am. I can already imagine it. Me sitting by the beach, drink in hand, watching a thousand glimmering lights float out to sea. It'd be wonderful to have such a luxurious, classy evening. The mayor's where we're having our next field exercises. She mentioned Sutherland and Crossbow shortly before we visited, too. He's clearly mentioning these places on purpose. Is she getting her info from Ouroboros so just constantly predicting the government's next move? Knowing her, it's probably both. Yeah, most likely. And of course, there's more to La Mer than just Ordis. The beaches are beautiful and bountiful, and the seafood is so fresh it practically leaps off the plate at you. Raquel is well known for its casinos and theaters, and there's also the scenic Brionia Island. There aren't any regularly scheduled ferries there, but if you do make it, you'll find a hidden gem rich in nature and ancient ruins. So after the summer festival, you can go for a swim, hit up the casinos, win a boat, then explore some ruins. There, I planned your whole trip for you. Brionia Island. I've heard the name before. Three years ago, Group B had one of their field studies there. That was when you and Emma went to Noid, right? Speaking of which, I remember Clan's Elder mentioning that island before. It's a spot in the Empire with the greatest concentration of animist ruins. Huh. The Elder, is she the one Emma and Vera called her grandmother? Yeah, though you wouldn't know it from looking at her, but she may as well be their, their actual grandmother. Oh, so they're not related by blood? Of course not. Are you curious about it? Well, yeah, kind of. Maybe this is a good opportunity then. Are you going to tell us about her? Emma did ask me to tell you about her. Huh. Listen up. I'm going to tell you a little about the Hexen Clan. Nice. I've been waiting to hear about the Hexen Clan. And the two sisters, Emma and Vita. They were the youngest members of a clan hidden away from the world at large. Vita lost her parents when she was young, but due to her immense natural talents, she was taken in by the Elder as her top disciple. Meanwhile, Emma's mother was what we refer to as a stray witch. She lived among the common people. However, she lost her life in an accident. Emma was also taken in by the Elder, and the two girls were raised together like sisters. The Elder created a familiar for each of them, me and Grianos. Vita was full of talent and spirit, but Emma was a shy shut-in. They both grew into strong, noble witches, and they would have lived a peaceful life in the village, but... At the age of 16, 
Vita volunteered to become a wandering witch. A wandering witch's job is to go to the outside world and report back to the village on new developments. The Elder sent her off with full confidence, but within half a year, she had vanished. We now know why. The Grand Master of Ouroboros got to her. She joined that den of snakes and abandoned her duties as a witch. The Elder regretted her decision to let Vita leave the village. It wasn't the first time she'd seen this happen after all. Did she really join Ouroboros and give up her duties as a witch? She could technically have a plan that, you know... She never gave up on her duties. She's still technically doing them, just letting everyone believe whatever they want. And she's still trying to help the village... In, in her own way. It could be it. But Emma was devastated by the disappearance of her sister. From that day, Emma began training and studying as hard as she could with one goal. Become a wandering witch herself to bring Vita back. And so, Emma was permitted to leave the village at the age of 16. With the help of some stray witches, she was able to enroll at Thor's with a scholarship. And in the spring of her first semester, she met you guys. Thanks, Celine. I think I understand Emma and Vita, and you a little better now. I'm not supposed to talk about this sort of thing with outsiders, but by this point, everyone in Class 7 is pretty much family. No kidding. Emma had to work hard for the Elder to okay this. I see, so that's what the pendant is all about. Next time you see her, can you tell her that I said Tell hey. her yourself. You'll be seeing her again before too long, right? Exactly, and Celine, you're gonna be sticking with us for a while yet, right? And that'll do it for tonight's show. Good night, everyone. No. <laughs> As for you two, don't stay up too late. You need your beauty rest, Celine and Reen. <laughs> she knows. She heard everything. But what was that? What an obnoxious woman. I'm sure she predicted we'd be listening and used her magic to ensure only we could hear that last part. Wow, she really is something. Now that I think of it, she did something similar during her live broadcast at the start of the Civil War. Yeah, Emma's no slouch, but Vita's power as a witch is tremendous. That said, she's not omnipotent. After all, Osborne pulled the rug out from under her, and now she's on the run from her former friends. Waterboss' plan was hijacked by the ch Chancellor, and the Black Workshop is starting to make a move. I'm also worried about the true story that Vita mentioned. Yeah, and about how she failed to change the ending. It must have something to do with the Infernal Castle. Not just the Infernal Castle, most likely also Crow. Vita's personality may be one big joke, but she's not the type to lie. There's no doubt we have a crisis looming over us. Don't we always have a crisis looming over us? Yeah. So by the fact you told me all of this, I suppose that means you're headed off now, doesn't it? Yeah, consider it a farewell gift. Oh wait, Celine can just teleport directly back to Emma, can't she? It's like, uh, Gurianos and whatnot. Even though you need to rely on that pendant, you'll be able to control your power now. I'll leave with your sister tomorrow morning. Oh, why she's going with Elise? I suppose the next time we'll see each other is when Class 7 meets up. Ah, uh, yeah. Honestly, it felt like it went by in the blink of an eye. Hey, how about you sleep in my room tonight? What do you say? Oh my, you're trying to get with this cat now? Hell no! <laughs> <laughs> Aw, uh, what's wrong, Celine? You're not, you know... Capable of sleeping in the room with a guy? Especially Veen? <laughs> oh boy. Yes. Alright, so we're gonna do Panzer Soldat training, get on board the train, and then I'll end the episode off. Now Monday. Wonder what the, we're gonna have to do here now. Is the main camp is gonna come in, you know, try to fight us again. I 
positively sorry for imposing on you all for so long. Thank you for your hospitality. I had so much fun spending time with all of you. Oh, no, not half as much as we did with you, I'm sure. Hey, Elise, let's have another round of girl talk sometime. It was time well spent. Uh -huh, I certainly was a lot of fun. Plainville is not so very far away, so I'm certain we'll be able to see each other again soon. Indeed. Please give the princess our regards as well. And I certainly will. I didn't think you'd be leaving too soon. It's sudden. Well, it seems like Emma's found some clues on her end. I'm sure your instructor can survive without me for at least a little while, so I'll be off for a bit. I see. Well, please say hello to Emma for me. Oh, and here I wish to give you one more pushing before you departed. I'll pass. Your brushing is dangerous. <laughs> In any event, continue working hard, everyone. Two years ago, the instructor of yours was utterly lost and completely hopeless. Compared to him, you're all in pretty good shape right now. Huh? Is that so? Now, now, Celine. It pains me to admit, but I can't really refute that. Well, all right. Take care, Elise. You too, Celine. Is a selective choice for dialogue again? You be sure to work twice as hard. I heard you'll all be leaving for your field exercises this weekend. Yep. Reen, everyone, please be careful. Yeah, you got it. Don't worry. I'll make sure we all come back safe and sound. Yep, and that'll include a bunch of grinding. Well, I just realized music doesn't have a cat ears on. God dang it. <laughs> Looks like our little vacation's finally over. Yeah, that Next is. Next up is Panzer Soldat training. And our field exercise location. Looking forward to it. I bet you are. Oh, yeah, I completely forgot to put those cat ears back on her. Elite Panzer Soldat Spiegel S. High speed Panzer Soldat Kestrel B. The high class Spiegel mo model and the high speed Kestrel model. Looks like the branch campus is really kicking into it into full gear. It should be able to adjust to any situation. Though I hope we don't need to resort to using them. Yeah. So today's agenda is determining the right Panzer Soldat for each of our students. Yeah, well, from the four types, depending on today's results, we'll decide the formation this weekend. Sure thing, today's gonna be a busy day. Oh yeah, your sister headed back this morning, right? She's so pure and cute, she reminds me of a lily. Having a sister like that must make you feel like a winner. Yeah, you'd better believe I can hang out to my blessings every day. But you have your cousin. <laughs> She's definitely a firecracker, all right? How do you realize how good you've got it? Yeah, well... Ash, don't lose control. Misa, you're moving too slow. Chuh. What's up with this thing? It's so delicate and I can't push it. Oh my, this is most definitely too clunky for sniping. So wait, am I actually going to be playing with them this time? I'm not bad, you two. This model seems better suited to sword wielding. I think I like this one best. It just seems easier to handle overall. Looks like everyone is finding a soldier that suits them. I'm sure, it just comes down to personal taste. It's pretty clear that Ash and Muse prefer the opposite kind of machines. Alright, next up are Tina and Maya. Born to Hector and the Kestrel. Leonora and Gustav. You're in the Spiegel and Jacquet. Well, this is gonna be interesting. Well, we've given each of them a shot now. I think I'd like the Jacquet best. Personally, I prefer the Spiegel. Its extra senses and maneuverability are practically made for sword uses. 
The Kestrel is my favorite. It's precise enough to make good use of an old rifle. Heh. <laughs> Hector, they're, they're still my guy. None of these other machines have enough power for me. There's no need to worry, Ellie. You're pretty good at piloting all of the other models right. Yes, as long as I understand the model's unique characteristics, it comes down to simply following the instructions. But if I were to be asked which one was my favorite, I wouldn't have an answer. Your favorite would be, you know, Valamar. With Reed. It's gotta be the Hector. It's l strong like that black doll thing you got. Oh no no no, Clemsley is a able to fly, so surely the Kestrel is. I don't think that's the issue here. I think a big part of it might be how compatible the what model is with our normal weapons. Agreed. Perhaps you simply need to find a machine that comes naturally to you like controlling Clom Soleus does. Maybe I'll keep thinking about it. Alright, well done with the model breakdowns. Now we're going to do a group mock battle. What? But for real? But because we're limited on number of machines, we'll split you up accordingly. Since we've only got one Spiegel and one Kestrel each, whoever wants to use them comes and can step forward. The students for all divines are teams based on their preferred model and participate in simple mock battles in groups. Though everyone's piloting what preferences were a little different, they quickly got used to working as a unit. Ah, uh, things are going pretty well. Thinking it's about time to finish up. Yeah. Okay, everyone, stop. For our final exercise today, inject the radio and I will be your opponents. Okay, so now I'm fighting both. What? Oh, man. Four of you will be going up against me and Reed. If we don't plan on losing, we're gonna give it to all. Heh, <laughs> about damn time. <laughs> I'm itching to show off my skills. You all seem to be having fun out here. I think I'll join you. Oh, boy, Aurelia. Are you joining the students? What the? It's her. It's her custom soul dot. Aurelia's personal unit Spiegel S. The machine. That's the golden Spiegel the principal mentioned. I had it stored in the hangar basement, but if I don't take it for a spin every so often, it'll start to rest. I decided to put it through its paces today. I'm sure you have no objections right to Lando Schwarzer. Whoa, whoa, wait. They wouldn't stand a chance against you. Wait, we're fighting a rally instead of them? Don't worry, I'll go easy on them. Getting a taste of the heights of martial prowess is good training too. But if they're all too scared, I suppose I can check my offer. Now you've done it. <laughs> Not bad at all. I thought we'd have a chance, even if all of us would ta attack her at once. However, she is not an opponent to those of us who follow the way of the sword would jump at the chance to spot with. Took me a second to read that. Everyone. I guess nothing I could say would stop this. Alright, we'll do a 4 and 4 battle with a handicap. First up, a unit cuts Muse and Ash. Forge your machine. 4v1! There will be no time limits if you're able to at least lay a scratch on the principal's machine you pass. That all right with you, principal. Yes, that is acceptable. Now, a new class 7 stand against me with everything you've got. Right. That's gonna be interesting. Please select your attack members. The remaining part characters will participate as your partners. Yuna, Kurt, Ash, Yuna, Kurt, Muse, Yuna, Ash, Muse, Kurt, Ash, Muse. Alright. I'm not letting Kurt do this. Altina. Alright. They're all level 31 as well. So. This should technically work. Actually, Kurt should be fine on zone. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a defensive buff to 
Use A mainly because I don't know what exactly she can do. Now, come! Man, I thought we could actually do a four on one. No, it's only three. Get her to 50%, huh? I think we could probably do better than that. It's probably. my turn! So in this stance, let's go for the arms. <laughs> Guarding the arms. My turn! Good to know. Yeah. Go ahead. It's down. The it's head mine. Yes. Question is, is the head actually the best part? It's three. Yeah. Oh, Let's go. Nice Keep it up. shot. This feels yeah. weird having a soul dot that shoots. Uh. Oh crap. Uh. Jesus Christ. Now. Why? Spirit. That does way too much damage. Here I go. Damn. Well, either way. Yeah. Wide open! It's mine! We can easily do this. We My won't turn. lose. At least I hope we will. Yeah. We're getting lucky it's with mine. the first. Yes! Yeah. Let's go! Keep it I, up! I mean, uh, we're getting lucky with the, you know, <gasps> weak, weak uh, points. Oh no, oh no. Oh. Huh? Let's go. Damn. Well. Spirit. Heal up. Here I go. Heal up again. My turn. Muse. I know this is. Okay. Spirit. Heal up. It's now, my turn. Muse. Defend. Huh? At least that doesn't do much when we My actually turn. defend. There we go. Unite. At once. Understood. Uh, there. Azure wings. Shoot. <laughs> Mistral blade. <laughs> Oh, All right. nice. That damage, man. We've almost got it. Cross break. Uh, it. Wide open. It's mine. We're almost there. I'm going. About 20 more minutes, then we'll be done. As your wings shoot. Now's our chance. Keep it up. I shall go. And we need you to charge. I'll support you. Huh? Very well. Defend. Uh, charge the one with the lowest amount of health. Huh? All right. Defend. Uh, Defend. Turn to death. Dramatic play. Huh? My turn. Rain slash. Uh, right. Sure. There we go. Unbound range. Silver ray. Yeah. I should finish it. No. Never mind. I lied. It's my turn. Okay, so let's try the arms on this one. I'm going. It's the body. Yeah. Let's go. Finisher. Use his finisher. Uh -huh. All right. GG! My turn. We broke your armor. How do you feel? Yeah! Man, she was a pain in the yeah. arse. 
My turn. Ha! It's down. It's mine. All right. Wait, what? Wait. Spirit. Why isn't it ending? It's my turn. Spirit. Sure. Mess him up. Why isn't this ending? My uh? turn. Why isn't it ending? Are we actually capable of beating her? Spirit! Here I go! I'm confused. I'm going! Fend. Huh? Interesting. Very well. What? What? I'll assist. Sure. It's my turn. Let's go with that, huh? Here you go. <laughs> Strike. Oh crap! She got one of those. Show Billy Blade dance. Oh Jesus. <laughs> So, yeah, we were supposed to lose. <laughs> Honestly, though, uh, if we did it right, we probably actually could have won that. Yeah, I did it. Maybe. I must train oh, even more. Stats updated. So, yeah, we had a certain turn and time limit, I'm assuming. Probably turn limit. Increase AP by three. The match is over. Huh, huh. I've been destroying spite. So this is the power of two major extort schools. The Golden Rock Shasa. <laughs> She's is seriously some kind of monster. Huh. Why? How can she even move like that? Considering the structure of this soldier, it should be impossible. Um, not a bad warm up. Now for the next ones. Huh? One second, though. I need to go all out or I'll end up getting too fired up. Orion Don Schwarzer, you'll be my opponent. What? For real? You two will be able to give me a proper challenge. Though Schwarzer should be probably use his own machine. That is, if you want to gain anything from this match. His own machine, does she mean? Understood. Did you hear that, Valimar? Acknowledged. Acknowledged. <laughs> I don't mind being her opponent but whipping out the divine knights is a little much don't you think with your skills you'd probably be fine with just a spiegel i think even with the two of us in Valma, we probably only have about a 50 50 chance of winning on second thought maybe it's closer to 30 percent she's seriously that much of a monster geez i guess i just gotta suck it up so i get to play with randy now 2v1 well then let us begin I, Aurelia Le Guin, the Golden Rock Shasa, shall be your opponent. Now, face me in battle. Ashen Chevalier and Red Reaper. Oh God. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> At least we have way more health than our students now, did. Come. Yep, we have to absolutely defeat her. I'm up. Uh? Though, though, it's probably just like McBurn. If you can't beat her, then yeah, it probably won't end to stop the story. Oh, hey, we still have the unbalance effects from the last fight. Yeah. 
It's down. But yeah, it honestly probably it won't matter if we can beat her or not. I got this. More so, it only matters about. <laughs> like with McBurn, if you lost, the story would still progress. Vice Let's versa go. and whatnot. All right, so now it's the head. Now, an opening. Come on, Aurelia. Yeah. Huh? Here I go. Man, you really love fighting. Whatever. <laughs> Defend with Randy. I'm up. If you want to keep attacking Randy, I'm all for it. <laughs> and now just let Velmore do more damage to you. Let's go! Hey, finally, you're not doing anything. It's now we can actually get Randy to join in on this. I got this. Now! Thank you. Yeah. Double strike. Weakness. Huh? It's my turn. She's going after Randy again. Jesus. Does she have a thing for Randy or something? It's down! An opening! Here I go! Defend, I guess. Let's go! Guess she feels that she can't beat us unless she takes us out one at a time. It's down! Unite! Let's go! I got this! Kinda wanted to see what Randy's Unite was gonna be, but well. There! Too late for that. Starfall slash! It's working. Let us push through. Yes, it is working, Valamar. Yeah. Let's do yeah. this. Now! An opening! Yeah. You'll beat Aurelia. Here I go! Power smash. Take that! Yeah. Here goes her armor. Let's go! <laughs> Now! An opening! I got this! <laughs> now! Yeah! Let's go! Huh? Let's see... Crescent Flag... An unbeseen chance to evade encounter... Uh, okay, yeah. Get back! <laughs> I got this. Defend yourself, Randy. <laughs> it's whatever reason she just loves attacking you. <laughs> she hasn't once tried to attack Valamar. Let's go. Uh, morning moon. Now, bring it on. I got this. Defend. <laughs> Time to die. This. Nice, huh? nice try. I got this. Oh my gosh, she's going after Randy again. And he, and now he has to attack. Ha! Now, finish it. Crimson Gale. Ooh, nice. It's my turn. Present flash. Get back! Now! Unite! Let's go! Here I go! Get back! There! Bye, Aurelia! Starfall Slash! We win! <laughs> well done. G. G. Don't miss. This with the Ashen Knight. The blade of the eight leaves. I mean, don't mess with the Ashen Chevalier. <laughs> and the Ashen Knight, I guess. Oh, in chapter one. What? Yeah, what an intense battle. <laughs> Hell yeah!
I had wondered what the commotion was about to see the principal fight. But that was really an incredible battle. Huh, brilliant. Uh, uh, is she even human? Reminded me of what about it bought us to steal made it. Ah, oh, you met her, her when you went to special support section. It was an uphill battle with the, even the two of us uh, teamed up against her. Lawrence becomes stronger too. I can't afford to fall behind. Marvelous. Skills like that at such a young age. I'm looking forward to your future accomplishments. Ah, uh, well, thanks. A fight taught me a lot. Well, now that I've been able to get my fighting spirit under control, I believe it's time for me to administer Class 7's test. Oh? AP increased by 5! Hell yeah. So I wasn't supposed to actually be able to beat her with students, right? I don't think you would have had enough damage. Yeah. I don't think I don't think you would have. But you didn't have enough health to survive that ultimate. In fact, yeah. Wasn't Kurt and Muse pretty much almost full health? So that pretty much That was too much. And so Aurelia finished training the members of class seven. They were all completely exhausted, yet it was a very fulfilling training session for everyone. As the, as the end of lunch arrived, the students' anticipations began to rise. And in tactical conference room, the location for the next set of field exercises was revealed. The Lamarty province is known for their seafood. Oh, and we're not near audience too. That's the biggest sports city in the West Coast, right? Oh, and we're here with their famous ca casinos. Do they really need to have the con conference during the summer festival? I'm also worried about what Order Bonus is up to. Expect these field exercises to be more difficult than any prior. All of you must be fully prepared and motivated. Yes, sir. We'll be fine, totally. I'll definitely make sure to grind up levels if I need to. Which I probably will either way. Lamar, huh? That's all the way out the west side of the Empire, right? It's also where the largest base of nobles is. And Musee's hometown, too. Oh, it's a lovely place. The scenery is always picturesque and the ocean is simply breathtaking. You were from that region, too, if I recall. Hey, yeah. But my city was down in the canyon, couldn't see the ocean from there. Besides, I never give a crap about that place. But with that, what I know now, maybe I'll see things differently. What do you know now? What are you, from the future? Am I ranking Your rank up? has increased. Hey, D plus, all right. Here's your reward. Two gladiator belt. I look forward to next time. As do I. Green star pendant sent to fee. Oh, halfway to five. Dang it. Fee's arts and DR's defense went up by ten. Not bad. Yes, please. Again, I said I would end the episode off after we got onto the train. So we're almost done. Friday, field exercises, departure. I'll cut to the chase this time. It's our third set of field exercises now, and the classes have been rearranged. We now have more advanced panther soldats and plenty of firepower. But the main campus will go even beyond that. Incidentally, they'll be having their field first field exercises today. In our newly acquired province in North Ambria, 
It seems they'll be flying there on crimson wings, the courageous. Wow. The courageous? The Imperial family's high speed cruiser, Prince Oliver, it's over Sar. Captain by the Radiant Blade Master himself. Though my wings have been stolen and my blade lost, I yet have the gun and the rose kept safely in my heart. So that's what he meant when he said his wings had been stolen. In North Ambria. Rain. We began as mere outcasts, but now the world is beginning to take notice of us. So now is when the true battle begins. Now is when we show our determination. The nobles are reeling. We have failed excited at their largest bastion in Erebonia. I eagerly await the result of your greatest battle yet. Fight, struggle, and grow. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so there should also be a, um... Vantage Masters on the train. So last time it was Kurt, so this time Altina? I mean, if there's any other time, and also could it be a Museo Ash? Please be careful. Give him a hell, you everyone, yes. So, what are the odds? The Phantasmal Blaze play on the third subject for retrieval. I'd say it's about 50 50. But I feel like this time, an interesting individual may make an appearance. In the world of martial arts, there are only a few who pique my interest. My master, Victor Sarsade, the Radiant Blade Master, my fellow disciples at Vanda School, and... The woman that we saw that was blonde, who even McBurn doesn't want to fight and knows he'll lose against? Rakshasa, a demon of carnage. What a fitting name. That's gonna be interesting. Ooh, Gala Lake, Milsante, Long Dock Canyon, Lamare Mainline, Raquel. That'll be the basic schedule for our field exercises in Nordis. As usual, Class 7 will have their briefly er, er, early in the morning. Briefing early in the morning, I can't read. Any questions so far? Class 7's all set. Class 9 is what? Class 8's all set. Class 9 as well. Queen. And Chuck this was, are there any questions? Sorry, no questions from Class 7 either. So the main campus is headed to North Ambria, huh? That's where the, that northern war Rain was part of happened, yeah. Yes, on top of that, the main campus is headed there in the courageous. I think Rain's feeling ab feelings about the whole thing are a little bit complicated. Ah, uh, Schwarzer, listen. We are headed to Lamade province. The main campus field exercises have nothing to do with us. Is that clear? Yeah. Sorry, I'll put those thoughts aside for now. Very well. We received information that the over 10 Jaeger Corps have infiltrated the Empire's mainland. We still have no information on the goal of the employers for a majority of these corps. Included among them are the Red Constellation currently working with Society and Zephyr. Those two are special for sure, but they're not the only ones we'll need to look out for. After what happened in Crossbell, we can't afford to let our guards down here. The Lamade province is very big. So it will be especially important to cooperate with the locals this time. That's correct. As before, Class 7's tasks will be key to accomplishing that. We need you to be able to act no matter the circumstance or situation. Understood. We'll make sure we're all prepared, our new members included. It'll be a long trip to Lamar. I'll m make my rounds and then head to bed. Since this will be Mute and Ash's first time with us for our special ops missions, I should make sure I talk with them. I think I'll talk with Toa and Major Michael too while I'm at it. Like the Major said, I need to focus on what's going on here. I mean, aren't Toa and the Major, you know, still in there? This is if we want. Never mind, the Major's right there. Okay, so you know what? Ah! 
Let's take a shower first and foremost, even though it doesn't really matter. Oh, this is nice. I should have just done this when we had a full party. I'm going to actually skip everything and just go straight towards the Vantage Master person. It actually is Altina. Okay, when did Altina get into this? So yeah, I'll get Vantage Masters out of the way, then I'll end the episode off. Then we'll start off the next episode, or episodes. Back over there, talking to Major Michael, heading all the way down, getting to Lamari, getting there, and then possibly fighting, fighting the giant biggest enemy we can find, and possibly finding levels there. I'm all for that. Being an artist again reminds me of the time I spent doing missions for Duke Hyen. I didn't really understand it back then, but I remember when I was following his orders, my body felt heavy and slow to act. Do you mean you were reluctant to follow his orders? I think that's the most logical interpretation. Thinking back, it's rare to find someone as self-absorbed, narcissistic, and opportunistic as him. He only saw me as another one of his tools. Um, oh. Apparently, thinking about him caused me to feel anger. But it's not something you need to worry about, Instructor. Now he's just someone in my past. There's no need for me to dig up any more unpleasant memories about him. Yeah, that's exactly right. Anyway, how about we play a game of Panthers Passes to take our minds off of things? Oh, I didn't realize you played too. Yes, he either forced me to try it a little bit ago. I was locked in at first, but to be honest, I really enjoy it now. I'm glad to hear you gave it a shot. I'd be happy to play with you if you'd like. Okay, thank you. You know, play Vintage Masters against Altina. Hell yeah. No need for me to dig up my uh, unpleasant memories. I think the best course of action is to forget about it and play some Vintage Masters. I meant to hit this button. A game of Vintage Masters, alright. I'm sorry I need to do this to you, Altina. Sister? I feel like I've start. seen that before. Man, I haven't gone first in a long time. Send Blix back and okay. Send Blix back for another Blix. Man, am I lucky. Can I get... Damn. The upgrade's up top, not in the back. Oh, the sister could heal herself. Good God. All right. Bup you, bup you up. Move to the front. Attack. Let's make sure that you get no allies. Send out Blix. I meant to put Blix down there, but whatever. All right. I have two allies and three damage on my main character, and you have nothing. It's at 22 health. Ooh, Blaze. Altina, I'm so sorry for what I'm about to do to you. <laughs> okay, so let's move back. What does this one do? It starts 3 HP to the target, but it has to be a kill. Okay. Again, keep up appearances. Do not let Altina keep anything on her side. It's just currently a downright slaughter, and I'm kind of feeling bad about it. Okay, so she has 16 health, 9 damage, 11, 13. Man, almost gone already. Attack. Alright. Pop you down. Skill. And there we go. I'm sorry about this, Altina. But you gotta truly learn how to play Vantage Masters. And playing against me is, I think, the worst thing someone could actually do. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm not even kidding. But there's six. Ah, oh, crap.
Well, well, well. Can I get a buff? Hey, that'll work. Gotta believe in the heart of the cards, man. Gotta believe in the heart of the cards. Sorry, Altina. Hmm, I lost. <laughs> hey, times three vanish cards, all right. Me beating Altina got her to bond four. I'll take it. I was about to say, oh crap, I missed a bath scene. No, I didn't. The game just instantly went to the next day after we went to the dorm. As everyone was in the bath talking about how much they wanted to get with Rain. Aurelia wasn't helping the matter. Okay, well with that, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next one. Where we will be going... Talking to everyone here in the train. Getting into La Mare. The Ordi's province. And can probably grinding levels against the tougher enemies that are there. See ya. Till then, see you guys later.